We know that it's a little unconventional to have a large reception following a family-only ceremony. Um, truth be told, my dad was pretty nervous about walking down the aisle in front of 300 people. <laughs> And the sky will break through the leaves like an old tapestry And we can just be as we fly on, fly on Just like we always do Fly on, fly on, forever is better with you Ooh. I think anyone who knows Maggie will tell you uh, She's one, she's one of the smartest people they know. Ooh, it's better with you. And at the same time, she's got a very quirky, adventuresome, and sometimes mischievous side. <laughs> the seasons look kind in spite of storms. There's age in your eyes, but the fire is warm. Out to the sea, this river it flows like an old mountain stream. Our story it grows as we fly on, fly on, just like we always do. Fly on, fly on, forever is better with you. Ooh, it's better. remember my first visit to see John his freshman year in Lawrence. On the lady front, nothing really had materialized. But on my walk up to his dorm, he pointed out Maggie Helms' dorm room and said there is a very special someone here that you might get to meet sometime. John, you are the luckiest person in this world. You have courted and persuaded the smartest person in this room to be your bride and best friend for the rest of your life. It's better with you. John Forrest Dunbar. Kate and I loved John from the day we met him. And it's not hard to understand why. A little historic note, in the spring of 2009, these two had been longtime friends in college, but not dating. Maggie had graduated from college, worked for Target, enjoyed it, made great friends, but decided she wanted to move on, was arranging to move to Boston, but was searching for something. She was unsettled. She'd been unsettled really all her life, not perfectly satisfied. <laughs> yeah. So she and John Dunbar start hanging out together, and Andrew Brainer claims it was at their cabin. Whatever quirk of fate it was, their friendship transforms to romance, and Maggie experiences a transformation as well. For the first time in her life, she is finally happy and fulfilled. And Getting to know John, it's not hard to see why. He is a marvelous package of endearing qualities. He is obviously extremely bright. He excelled academically at Lawrence and at the U Medical School. But most importantly to Kate and me, he is so very, very good to and for Maggie. John Dunbar, we could not love you more. Welcome to our family.
First of all, Maggie, I want to thank you for marrying John. It's a big relief. And I think what we're witnessing here today is what you really want for your loved ones. What you really want is to watch them marry someone who's also truly like a best friend. And so we are gathered here uh, this afternoon to celebrate not only the gift of your relationship, but the gift of your family and your friends and colleagues who come today uh, to enter into an invitation uh, to be uh, with one another throughout the coming years. It is with uh, great pleasure that I can announce uh, to all of you, for the first time, uh, Maggie Helms and John Dunbar as wife and husband. You may now kiss the groom. I could not be more impressed with how Maggie connects with John. She understands and embraces his quirks, supports his aspirations, and when John is with her, he is at his happiest. She really is the perfect match for him. Let me say this to you, young lady. Even, that was my dad's phrase, even with your hotshot education, and even with your fancy pants degrees, you can't begin to measure or grasp how proud I am of you, how much I admire you, how much I need and want your approval, respect, and how deeply and completely I love you. Sometimes I wake up with the sadness of the days it feels like madness, so what would I do without you? When colors turn to shades of gray With the weight of the world at the end of the day What would I do without you? A decade goes by without a warning And there's still a kindness in your eyes Amidst the questions and the worry You've brought John good sense, judgment, table manners, and a sense of compound interest. You've also made him the happiest man alive. Thank you. <laughs> what would I do without you? My imagination gets the best of me and I'm trying to hide lost at sea. What would I do without you? The difference between what I've said and done And you're still standing by my side A guilty soul and a worried mind I will never make it if I'm on my own So Maggie, on your wedding day I toast you by saying, take your two feet and plant them firmly on these two cornerstones. Grab John Dunbar with both arms, and as the four of us join, we'll form a platform and a foundation for the two of you to build the most wonderful, loving, patient, caring, and enduring marriage and family. God bless you both. To Maggie and John. Thank you. What would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you? Oh, what would I do without you?